Hi everyone, it is Kate from The Fold Line and I'm back this week to talk all things sewing bee. We are so excited that it's back on our screens and each week we are going to give you a little bite-sized roundup of pattern picks from the show. So what we do is Rachel and I watch the show, get put on our detective hats, um, not literally, and go and find all the patterns that were featured or similar ones that were featured in the show and bring them to you so that you can make them all. Um, if you're new to our channel, I, I never really do this, I probably should a little bit more. Um, we are the Fold Line and we are an online sewing community and sewing pattern shop. So we provide a huge database of sewing patterns that you can peruse through at your leisure, save them to wish lists, plan your makes, and we do lots of blog posts and things to go alongside it. And there are also lots of lovely reviews from people who've made the items on our site so you can go and have a proper scooch around and get planning for your next sort of sewing adventure. Um, so let's let now that's gone let's talk sewing bee we are i mean it's just so i'm so happy it's back on our screens it was so nice to watch it last night i'm going to say now if you haven't watched the tv program please go and watch it because i am definitely going to give you some spoilers otherwise so yeah definitely definitely go watch it then come back here and i can talk to you about sewing patterns um I'm really, I'm really excited about talking about it. I loved that. I loved Joe, the new um, presenter. What did you guys think? It's lovely to see Patrick. I mean, never, never a chore to watch him on our screens. And I thought the contestants all seem really nice and helping each other out, which is lovely. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really nice series. I'm quite excited about it actually. Um, so what we're going to do, there are three parts to each show. So there's the first part, which is kind of like the technical challenge. The second part, which is, um, this week was upcycling. So they got given, um, denim and they had to make something out of that. And then the third thing is where they all make, um, they're all given an item to make and they can pick their patterns of choice. So I'm going to talk to you through patterns that I think would work really well with what they chose. Um, I think a couple of them were almost bang on, but um, yeah, let me know what you think. If there are any suggestions as well for other patterns that we haven't used, just pop them in the, in the comments below because let's kind of help each other out and find patterns. Um, so the first thing that they made was a 1950s wiggle dress, um, absolutely classic kind of silhouette, really tight fitted. I did some research and I'm 99% sure I've got the pattern, but of course the pattern is out of print. Um, so the pattern that I found is the Vogue 8280. Um, as you can see, it's pretty similar. It's such a shame that they it's out of print. Um, but I do have a couple of options which I think would also work really well if you're really into that shape. So I've got two patterns for you. The first one is the Layla dress from Stylark. This comes in sizes four to 30. It's not available on our shop. Um, I just thought this was really close. It's got quite similar sort of, the neckline you could definitely change so you can make it straighter rather than the sweetheart neckline that they've got. Um, but it's got that sort of kind of structure. It's got all of the darts as well, which are very similar to the kind of one pattern that they used in the show. Um, this would definitely be more for an independent, um, sorry, in intermediate maker, this one. So I've got another one which I think would be better if you're, sli if you're slightly in the more um, advanced beginner category. So the other dress that I picked was the Etta dress from Tilly and the Button. Um, this comes in sizes 6 to 20. It's available on our online shop. Um, again, it's got all the darts um, and bust darts and waist darts that the original has. It's got a slightly different neckline, um, but you could totally, once you've kind of got your fit right, you could do totally make a square a neckline. Um, it's got a closer fitting sleeve, but generally the silhouette of this dress is pretty similar to the one that we saw on the show. And I think this is a really good, I mean, Tilly has really, really fantastic instructions. so you'll be in safe hands with her for sure. Um, so the next section in um, in the show was the upcycling. This week it was denim, as I just said. Um, so they got given three pieces of denim so they could pick between um, 
jeans and a jacket and um, I think there were some denim shirts and they had to make something. I loved this part, I thought it was really interesting, I can't, it's kind of my favourite bit because they can't plan it and they can just get really, really creative. Um, yes, so I'm not going to go through every, all of them because there are definitely some I think you guys will agree that there is definitely not a pattern for, but the top few I thought I'd found some things that were quite close and I thought these would work nicely. So the first one I'm going to talk about is that really beautiful kind of halter neck dress that was made in denim. I really liked this. I thought it was quite interesting because it's quite a sort of actually quite and again quite a 50 shape but having it in denim made it feel quite modern and the pattern that I chose for this is the Rose City halter dress from So House 7. This comes in sizes 4 to 24 and is available on the online shop and I thought this was a pretty close match actually it's got that really nice halter neck neckline the V at the front um, this is this pattern's got a gathered skirt which I think works really nicely and suits a lot of body shapes and it's pretty close so I think if you wanted to recreate something like that I actually really loved it in denim I think it made it look a bit more modern um, but yeah I thought that one was pretty pretty close um, the top, the one that won was this really amazing kind of um, structured big sleeve top which I just thought was really beautiful. It had this sort of big bell sleeve and a gathered, gathered into the cuff. Um, so I've got two options for these. They're kind of um, qu quite different. So I've got a more ready to wear version if you wanted to go for something a bit less full on. And it's the high cuff sweater from the assembly line. This comes in sizes... Um, 8 to 20 and it's available on the online shop um, it's quite a simple um, it's I, li I like this because it's mixing cuffing which is a jersey and a woven which I think is makes it look quite sporty a bit kind of sport luxe and it's quite similar to the vibe that she was going for but it was it's a bit more pared down and it's got that sort of gathered sleeve um, and quite a simple make actually you could probably whip this up in a few hours the second one I've got if you want to go big on the sleeve is the tuck sleeve top from Trend Patterns. This has got this huge dramatic sleeve with this big kind of tuck that goes right into the seam. It's really it's just such a beautiful, beautiful shape. Um, it's slightly more fitted in the bodice than the one on the show, but I think with that huge sleeve you kind of need that kind of fitted or you need it to be a bit more fitted. So I thought, yeah, you could hybrid the two maybe and end up with end up with something very similar. So after that, sorry I've got my laptop here with all my pattern suggestions because otherwise I'll totally forget. Before we get started on the next bit, I'm terribly sorry that I don't have any images. I wanted to put screenshots from the show so that I could compare the two like for like on the screen, but the BBC uh, BBC are party poopers about us putting anything up and we're not allowed to have anything that's on the show. It breaches copyright. So you're just going to have to remember, unfortunately. I've I've got the screenshots here. I can see them, but I'm just not allowed to put them up on the camera for legal reasons. So the first jumpsuit, we're talking jumpsuits now. This was the, the bit where they all got to pick a jumpsuit. They were allowed to pick their pattern and their fabrics and yeah they were really interesting actually it's amazing when you see like you know 10 people doing something together how different they can be so the first pattern that i'm going to talk to you about was alexi's so this was the military jumpsuit um that he did it had a big zip up the front it was in a sort of khaki color um it had big pockets on the breast and on the breast on the bodice and then um big pockets also on the legs as well so the pattern that i found is the Jean-Paul Boiler Suit by Ready to Sew. Um, this comes in sizes um, 4 to 18 and it's available on the online shop. Um, obviously Alexi's jumpsuit you might remember was sleeveless and this has got sleeves but you could totally just whip the sleeves off to make it similar to his. Um, his also had quite a kind of industrial zip down the front of it 
and I've this version has buttons but you could totally put a zip in if you wanted to I actually really like the buttons on this I think they're really nice but I thought this was pretty similar um, it's got the collar as well and the only other difference is that it's got a waist seam which to be honest with you I'm totally down with the waist seam you can get a lot more fit and better shaping using that so yeah I thought that was quite close and a nice sort of like kind of middle ground. Um, the next pattern I want to talk to you about, so this is um, Jen's denim jumpsuit, so she ha you'll remember it, lovely, really beautiful fit, it was really nicely done, and also Janet's nautical jumpsuit, so this one had the sort of um, knots, um, the rope ties on the shoulder, had a kind of, it had piping across the front. Um, these two actually were quite similar when I looked at the line drawings and the pattern that I have got is the New Look Jumpsuit 6446. Um, this comes in sizes 6 to 18, it's not available on the online shop. Um, this, to be honest with you, especially the denim jumpsuit, this was literally bang on. I'm, I'm nearly 100% sure this is the pattern that she used. Um, really nice shape, loads of the sewing community have made it, it's a really popular pattern so I and loads of different shapes and sizes of people have made this as well so I definitely think it works on a lot of different body types um, but yeah I think it's a really lovely pattern and judging by how many people have made it it must must be pretty good so next up we've got um, so this is Juliet's jumpsuit so her hers was a jumpsuit with the African wax print mixed with spot and it was the winning one and it was absolutely beautiful I just swooned over it um, spent a long time looking for this, this was probably my hardest hunt but I found one that's quite similar so I, but you're definitely going to have to hack it a little bit so I picked the McCall's um, 7815, it comes in sizes 6 to 22, it's not available on the online shop um, this has got that asymmetric sleeve which um, Juliet's has um, the version that I'm showing you actually is a long sleeve but you could totally shorten it and add the volume in so that it was more close to Juliet's she's also got this sort of wrap at the front and um, this sort of it looks almost like a like a little corset peeping out which obviously it isn't but it, it has that kind of overall look and I definitely think if you use this as your base you could totally copy what she's done I thought what she made was really interesting and really really beautiful so yeah I thought that one was quite close um next up we've got so we've got Mercedes who made the mustard jumpsuit with the red piping and also Leah who made that peacock print it almost looks like a, I don't know if it is but it looks like a liberty print with the two kind of straps at the front so the pattern I've got for both of these is the Vogue 9075, love this pattern, again this is a bit of a classic in the sewing community, I've made a couple of them, I love it. Um, I totally think that you could use this pattern to make both of these, so Mercedes one actually is pretty close, the only difference is that this pattern has princess seams rather than darts at the bust and um, waist, but actually you can get a much better fit with princess seams, so you'll forgive me on that for sure. Um, the one from Leah it has got princess seams and she's obviously, well I don't know if she did use <laughs> a different pattern but I, she's, you, this would be quite an easy hack, you just change the neckline, you put cut straight bits of strips which become your strap and then obviously try it on, pin it in, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt and you're done. Um, I thought this would, yeah, would work quite well, this pattern for both of those. So last up we have got Ricardo's which was, his was self-drafted which I thought was really impressive, nice wrap feature, grown on sleeves, I found this one hard to find something really similar but I thought that the Sierra jumpsuit from Papercut Patterns would work really well. Um, this comes in sizes 6 to 18, um, it's available on the online shop. Um, it's got that lovely wrap detail that Ricardo's has got and it's got a tie at the side which is slightly different from his but I love this feature, I think it's really really beautiful. Um, it's got the same shaped legs as the as Ricardo's one, it's got a slightly sort of peg leg and um, 
If you wanted to add sleeves to this, you could totally do this because his are just grown on, which means they're literally just added onto the pattern piece. And I think you could probably do this, you could definitely do this with the paper cut patterns. All you would need to do is lower the armhole a little bit and literally take kind of a kimono type sleeve out um, on the pattern piece. If you did a little bit of tweaking, I think you'd find you could totally do it. Um, I think, yeah, I hope those were kind of useful and you enjoyed that. We will be back every week with a roundup of patterns from the sewing bee, which is so exciting. It just means you get two bits of stuff from us a week. You'll definitely be bored of me by the end of this. And um, yeah, let me know if you've got any other suggestions of patterns that you thought would work well. Let's have a chat down below and we can, yeah, talk things, all things sewing bee. We'll be back soon with another one. Bye.